Okay, so for footwork, or taconeo, um, there are certain uh, elements in it. So you want to think of it as either musical notes or an alphabet. So just like in the alphabet, there's many letters. When you combine the letters, they create words. And when you put the words together, they create a sentence. Or in, in music, you have your musical notes. And you put them together, they put a phrase. And then all together, it becomes out a, a song. Um, so the same thing with footwork in flamenco. We have taconeo. And sometimes you'll see um, you know, you're dancing with actual upper body movement. And there's some footwork accents. But what I'm referring to is just when there's portions of the dance where it's just the footwork itself is the feature. And that, um, that, would, that feature, that whole footwork pattern or sequence would be an escovia. So taconeo would be the little elements of just doing some footwork. And an escovia would be like a whole sequence that, um, that's, that's very musical. All right, so let's break down just what are just a few of um, the footwork techniques that you will be using in our choreography that we will be starting. All right, so we start off with planta, and that is the ball of the foot. Okay, and it comes from behind, meaning that um, you don't lift up the knee to get it, it comes from behind. Okay. All right, and so that's planta. And then we also have tacón, which is the heel. And when you do tacón, you want to make sure that your, the, the ball of your foot is firmly on the floor. So you're not going to lift up the, your, your ball of your foot to get that heel action. You want to be able to just lift up that heel as high as you can and bring it down. And you want to keep your knees relaxed. Um, then the next one is golpe, which is the flat foot. And also, just like planta, it comes from behind, meaning that you know, you're not going to lift up the knees to get that motion. It comes from behind. OK? Now, the next one that we will do is talon. And that means the heel is in the front and that toe comes up. And you just kind of go bop, bop. And the position is kind of at the toe. So you're not going in front of your foot. You are right here by your toes, OK? Now, one thing to remember anytime you're doing your footwork is that your abs are engaged, your legs are as relaxed as possible, and your knees are slightly bent, not bent, not straight, just relaxed. And um, you want the, your butt is going to absorb all that shock. <laughs> so if, if your knees are hurting, you need to kind of adjust your position a little bit, whether it's you know, engaging your abs more um, and relaxing your quads. Um, and that should usually help it. Um, Any time that you feel that, you're, that your legs are kind of seizing up, <laughs> you have to just take, take a deep breath in, release it, and just kind of uh, engage those abs once again. All right, so we're going to do a combination now uh, using solo compas. And I'll just call it out, and you'll follow me. Um, it's very easy to follow. And we'll use those um, four uh, elements. We had planta, which is the ball, tacón, golpe, and talon. All right, let's begin. Okay, so we'll start off with planta. So keep your hands on your hips. Five, six, five, six, seven, and planta, tacon. Planta, tacon. We'll keep repeating that. Planta, tacon. Golpe, two, three, four, 
calor. Good job. 